So let's start off with opening your Solex Cloud app. Um, you can do this on iPhone, Android, uh, whichever system. Um, and you'll be welcome to the uh, home screen. Now, many users think that there should be a link straight to remote settings on the home screen because it's something that they change frequently. Um, and the reason that Solax don't do that is because commercial customers that have more than one inverter um, would need access to more than one inverter settings, if that makes sense. Um, so which inverter settings would they put on the home screen? So the way that they've done this is they've made a device tab for all your devices, and then you can choose which device you'd like to change the settings for. So we're just going to click on the device down here at the bottom and go to the devices page. I only have two here. I've got the uh, wireless LAN connection and the single inverter, and you need to click the inverter to which you'd like to change the settings for. If you click here on remote settings, you're taken to the settings which are stored on the inverter. Now the rest of this uh, playlist um, focuses on all the basic settings and uh, many of the advanced settings that you find on most inverters. Now some inverters do have different settings depending on whether it's a uh, um, an AC or a boost or a hybrid, but this uh, uh, tutorial is based on a hybrid G4 inverter. As you work through these videos, please bear in mind that uh, some settings only reveal themselves after other settings have been changed, um, so don't expect every setting option to be visible at all times. Um, another thing is you must click the save button opposite every setting change you make, otherwise it will not be saved or take effect. Um, many users forget this, they do a lot of settings, press one save button once and all the other settings are not saved. Um, if on occasion a setting doesn't update or fails, then just please try it again. It's an incredibly complex process that we kind of take for granted and expect to work, but when you analyse what needs to happen between your inverter to your router to the SOAC servers to back and all the way back again, um, it's quite a complex process, so a little bit of patience. Um, if your login um, times out, then you'll need to refresh that because the settings won't take effect um, if it's timed out. To access many settings on your Solex app, you'll need to enter an access code. Um, there are three levels of access at the moment. There is the user level, the advanced level and the super level. And each level has a different access code to access the settings. So the user code is 0000. The advanced, also known as installer code, is 2014. And the super, nobody knows why there's a super menu. Super code, we don't know what super is, is 6868. And uh, each code also has access to the settings from the previous code. So you can just use 6868 all the time to have access to all the settings, for example. From the settings main screen, you can click setting here. And when you click setting, it'll ask for one of those passcodes. So the first demonstration I'll do, um, I'm going to put in 0000 and click OK. And that will give me access to the main user settings. The last option in user settings is the user password. And this is fairly self-explanatory. It's to change the password from 0000 to something else. So uh, somebody else who isn't authorized can't access the basic settings of your inverter. So here, you can just click on there, type in your new password, click save, and um, that will then be saved as the uh, user settings password. If I go back, um, and do that again. This time I'll type in 2014 for the advanced settings. And you can see this time I get a menu. I get the same user settings, which was the screen that I had before. And now I have an advanced and a network menu. OK, so these menus become available depending on what level of access you have. And the last one, if I type in 6868 for the super settings I'll also get the super menu okay so each setting also has um, the previous settings so if you just want to use super all the time you know you have access to all the settings if you're training a customer for example or an end user it's probably best that they don't change the advanced super and network settings so you would just give them the passcode of 0000 to access user settings so that's how you access the settings. Please move on to the next video to learn a bit more about them.
Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.